everyone welcome to my channel my name is natalie i am so glad you're here because this is a big week it's the final countdown to my move which is very exciting and i don't feel ready <laughs> if you're new to my channel i live in new york city and i'm currently in the middle of moving from my two-bedroom apartment here in park slope to a two-bedroom apartment in bed -Stuy. the move is officially about a week away so really it's time to pack <laughs> i'm attempting to document as much of the moving process as i can so you can like and subscribe if you'd like to get notifications to follow along this very stressful journey i attempted to start packing in my last vlog but got derailed by an array of other tasks <laughs> but it's it's really time to pack like i have this whole week ahead of me and then the move day is here. My move day is on Sunday. It's Monday at evening and I kind of got to just get down to it. I obviously can't pack everything right now because I still need to live in this apartment for the next week, but I figure I'm going to just start nice and slow, start getting things organized, start getting things together. This vlog is going to be strictly packing and decluttering because that's that's that has to be my focus this week <laughs> i have done a few other things in the meantime between this vlog and my last one i've been selling furniture on facebook marketplace and i guess that's it <laughs> i thought i had more it feels like i've been running around with my head cut off but i guess that's literally all i've been doing <laughs> my plan of attack for packing is to just start with the non-essentials all of the things i know i'm not going to need between now and the move and i think the easiest way to do that is kind of just start out and work my way in so bathroom kitchen living room my room just because most of the stuff in the shared space i can manage without because i don't have a lot of it so i can get all that packed away and a lot of the really intense packing will probably be my room like two to three days before the actual move and the hardest part with packing is always like you know you have to pack everything but you also need to separate out stuff you know you'll need in the immediate future so i want to make sure i set aside my toiletries some clothes pajamas my bedding my work stuff like those things i'll also have to set aside but i figured that will be a little bit further down the line so we're gonna start with, with just the miscellaneous items I know I can pack away and not worry about. I'm gonna start slow and just kind of do this a little bit each night throughout the week. I am moving on a Sunday and I have not taken any time off of work up until then. I'm taking the Monday off after work to help get settled, but my plan is just to every night after work pack a little bit. I have, I have some plans, like some social plans, so there'll be a few nights where I won't be able to get as much done, but Today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, I have some flexibility, so I'm just gonna really try and get what I can done. It's 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 more of just a way to help soothe my anxiety. <laughs> I just feel like I need to start doing something. So, welcome to a packing vlog. Some decluttering will happen along the way. This will probably span a couple days as we get down into it. Thanks so much for being here. Let's get started. I don't even know where to start, even though I just said where I was going to start. <sighs> ah! Packing supplies finally made it. I've got 20 boxes, which is what I am allotted currently for my move. And then we've got some bubble wrap and packaging tape. And there's some Sharpies there, too. And I've got the cutest little sidekick to oversee my packing. changed course because I said I was gonna start from the bathroom in the kitchen and I'm starting with books <laughs> these have just been on my floor because they used to go on my shelves so I don't know they just seem easy to pack <laughs>
day two of packing, decluttering, getting things taken down, put away, ready for the move. I think I'm scrapping my initial plan of attack to work my way out in because it's just not making sense for what I currently need. I'm just realizing like a lot of the stuff in the kitchen I'm probably going to need through Friday. Like even though I don't have a lot of stuff, it's stuff I'm using every day. All my Tupperware, a lot of my like cooking stuff, my coffee setup, all of that I need the rest of the week so it doesn't make sense to pack now and I don't want to have a bunch of half open half packed boxes and I think that's just going to get confusing so I'm just going to try to pack categories of what can be like fully packed away so I did I did do bathroom under the sink toiletries that I don't need and some books which was yesterday so I think today my focus is going to be things on walls that I can pack away. So I just took down some mounting hardware. I think I'm gonna take down my artwork. And then I have a bunch of like trinkets and decor that I obviously do not need in the next couple days at all. So I can get packed away now. So I think we're just gonna kinda of be a little bit more open with what we're packing and in what order. <laughs> I feel pretty maxed out for the day. I think I'm done packing day two. It was a long day at work and then I took a little break and then started packing. And I feel like I got stuff done, but it's that stage where I've packed a decent amount and there's still a lot to pack. So it feels like I haven't made any progress even though I know I have. I didn't get to pack as much last night as I thought I would because I ended up going to meet a friend for a drink. Um, but I feel like I made up for it tonight. I got a lot of my like decor, frames, vases, like desk trinkets packed away. I got most of my winter clothes that live under my bed packed away. So that feels good. I have plans tomorrow night and Thursday night, so I don't think a lot of packing will happen, so I'll pick it back up on Friday. Tomorrow night, I do need to dispose of a few items because it's like the big trash night happens on Thursday morning, so Wednesday night, I need to put out a few things, so that will probably be my like move-related task. Other than that, we're just gonna keep it going, keep it going slow and steady. I need to go shower. It's so warm and I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so it continues. To be continued. TBD on to the next day. It's Wednesday, it's 9.30. I just got home from work and a movie night at a friend's and I'm really tired. <laughs> but I have to get a couple pieces of furniture out of my room and downstairs to the curb because tomorrow is like the big furniture pickup, like trash collection. 
So I'm getting rid of this broken dresser that I inherited and I don't need to take um, my box spring with me for my new bed frame. So I'm gonna take that, that down to the curb. I basically have to do it tonight because they only pick up big items on Thursday. I'm moving on a Sunday. So that's going out tonight. My boyfriend is an angel human and is on his way over. He doesn't live very close, but he's coming over to help me take down my box spring and this dresser that I just pulled out because it's four flights of stairs. So we're gonna get that done. And I, it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm like actively sweating because I literally just got home and it's so warm outside. So this is what we're doing. Work has been nuts. So it just hasn't been the best week to be like trying to manage a move to. Oh my God, I need to stop talking and turn this off because I am like dripping sweat. five well i guess actually day four i did not pack anything yesterday so it's friday but it's day four of packing we're doing it slowly as you can see most things are still here <laughs> i got home not too late last night but i just didn't have it in me to pack and kind of hit my wall it's been a very busy chaotic week at work i'm sure i've said this so it's just been a very intense week to be packing and trying to figure out my move. So yesterday I let myself just not do anything and I'm still like, I'm still doing stuff. I still, all of tomorrow, that's the big packing day Saturday. And I don't technically move until the evening on Sunday. So if I needed to, I could do stuff Sunday, but I'm gonna save Sunday for like little tasks. There's always like something you forget to do. So I wanna make sure that Sunday I have time to not be running around. Anyways, that felt like a tangent, but didn't get a lot done yesterday and that's okay. We're gonna get back to it today. It's about five o'clock. I normally work summer Friday hours, but today I worked a full day just because of how busy it's been. So taking a little breath, a little rest, and then and I get some packing done. So some things that have been done in general, we got rid of some furniture on Wednesday and I've just been doing some other small logistics like I've sold more things on Facebook marketplace I paid off my moving deposit so that's all set like things have still been happening just behind the scenes so overall I do feel like I'm in a good spot I think tonight I'm just gonna continue to get some boxes in place my room feels like so cluttered because I got rid of my dresser so all that stuff is just like on my desk and I want to just like pack some of it away so it feels less chaotic and I have the whole evening so I'm gonna do that slowly <laughs> so much packing I think it's always so funny to realize how much stuff you have even when you don't have that much stuff like I genuinely don't think I have that much stuff <laughs> maybe I'm delusional compared to other times in life I feel like this is the least amount of stuff I've owned maybe my last apartment was the least amount of stuff I've ever had. I just feel like I've whittled down quite a bit and I am not somebody who is super sentimental about a lot of things. So I don't feel as hesitant to get rid of stuff. Um, so I'm like pretty free, like, ah, it's fine. Just, it, it's gotta go. So I don't think I have that much stuff. And then I start packing boxes and I'm like, where did all the stuff come from? <laughs> it's humbling to say the least. Every time I move, I'm like, okay, I don't want to own that many things. I don't need that many things. Like I exist in one room, you know? Also, what are all, what is all this stuff for? 
anyways that's just a fun a fun thing to be grappling with as i'm packing so we're gonna get back to it and i think tonight's gonna be the last night we vlog and then because then the weekend is here and i might do a separate little moving vlog for that because that'll just kind of be by that'll just kind of be taking it as it comes truly so okay okay enough chit chat and perfect timing a plane is coming i'm gonna stop talking So tragically, I ran out of packaging tape. I could have sworn I ordered two rolls and realized I only ordered one, which doesn't make a lot of sense for how many boxes I have. So it makes sense that I ran out. It's just almost nine and I was just at Walgreens to pick up a prescription earlier today. And so I'm just so annoyed that I didn't grab another roll. I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight there might be one store that's open, but I think I'll just wait till the morning. I'm at like a good stopping point. I got through most of my clothes, all of my books. Now it's kind of just like all the random odds and ends that are kind of hard to pack because it just all feels like miscellaneous items. So I think I'll save that tomorrow when I'm feeling like fresh and ready for the day. We might do like a few odds and ends to wrap up the evening there's like a fan i'm gonna put out on the stoop that still works that i just won't need anymore and like maybe i can vacuum out my closet because it's mostly empty and wipe that down and i can even put some boxes in there so they're out of the way but we'll see it's been a long week i've gotten a lot done and i think we'll pick it back up tomorrow currently at nine boxes packed out of my allotted 20 which is good so i think i allotted the right amount i might not even use the full 20 but i'm hoping that i don't go over i think i'll be okay and i packed the two pieces of luggage that i also um i'm allotted to bring those have lots of clothes in it so those are all packed away and done so i have 11 boxes to fill up with like all that miscellaneous stuff and kitchen items still I'll probably take, I have like a backpacking backpack that gets big. I'll probably take that in the Uber to the new place with me with like pajamas, my clothes for the next day, toiletries, and then maybe one Ikea bag of like, there's like two frames that don't fit in the box. So like maybe my hamper. I don't know. How do I pack a hamper, you know? Oh no, mine collapses. Never mind. <laughs> Aside from all the odds and ends, I mentioned need, still needing to be, still needing to be packed. The last big thing is like the kitchen and I don't have a lot but I have a few things. The biggest, the most stuff is like my coffee setup and my Tupperware, like a bunch of glass Tupperware but I'm still going through the last of my groceries so that'll time out perfectly to tomorrow to be packed so that'll be it. Tomorrow it has to basically all get packed <laughs> but it will happen and I'm in a good spot and I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because I'm slowly going downhill energy-wise and I'm just kind of hitting my wall. So we're going to call it a night. We're going to call it a week on packing. And the next time you'll see me will probably be moving day. Thanks for coming along with me on this week of packing. The end is in sight. The move is near. It's all going to get done and it's going to be great.
thanks so much for being here and thanks so much for watching and i will see you very soon